Hepsi de peşe <laughs> morning guys um we this is our day three morning drive and we've just stopped and we're just scouring the insamani lake here and uh, we saw some pretty cool um activity from a hippo uh, and a fish eagle i don't know if it was a, a playful act or a territorial act but uh just something interesting to see um very beautiful stop here nice scenery mm -hmm. um our morning didn't really go to plan no no we <laughs> <laughs> i'm actually embarrassed to say but the, the alarm <laughs> didn't go off so we had a bit of a late morning not too late not too but late. but later than we it should have been we're supposed to wake up 5 we only woke up quarter past six yeah which are lots of rain last night also yeah didn't expect that rain and no. the honey badger came back. Yeah, the honey badger is so next they, level. We had to go out in the cold and like rescue everything. Yeah, even just just having dirty dishes, just dishes. Oh, and they were they were like rinsed dishes, and they, he was yeah, up there and he was after. yeah. But That's anyways, okay. yeah, it's cool. Uh, so we do have a bit of a plan today. It's gonna be. It's a bit of a drive, but uh, mm. Lee, we'll, what we'll is probably it? just go to Satara. Well, up to Satara, and then we'll do. I mean, it's not really a loop, but you go past. We want to go have breakfast at the in one Seni in one Netsi. Oh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing these words right. In one Netsi picnic site. Someone forgot to bring something. Oh uh, well, not someone. I think we both <laughs> forgot to bring something. Very well, we forgetful. Did it. Well, this we were morning. we were going to do like a cook up, but we didn't. We don't have. Oh, we didn't bring no. our safari chef our little gas cooker thing. Scottle. So we're hoping they hire out scottles at this picnic site. We'll let you guys know when once we get there. Yeah. But Josh, we're almost there. Actually, we've passed. We we're supposed to stop at Bob Crance again just to have a look. But um, I think we passed it without even realizing because we're quite we're almost at near Satara now. And then we'll do a little short, so we'll probably catch up when we get to that big next time. We'll see you there. Hopefully, we see something cool on the way.
trying to figure out well actually we've got we've got a I think it's just a grey heron over there yeah. but he's in a pose like he's about to like strike. he's just about to strike we've got the camera focused on him in the video just in case we catch something and then we're trying to figure out what birds they are and they're like black storks straight away they, Definitely they, a stork. they look like a stork because of their, their beak but they're playing black and I don't see I don't see much. Look when we go the... to the hard, we'll actually get a better view of them. I think we'll be able to identify. Back to where we did our first yeah, vlog this morning, and uh, we decided it was such a nice spot to uh, view this morning. We thought we'd just do a ride around. They've got a, an alternative little viewing spot just further down, and uh, the fish eagle that we spoke about this morning, uh, we found it on an odd-looking tree. Mm. So we we actually were just filming. We just wanted to um, hear its call and uh, get that on video. But um, while we were sitting here, we saw another little shape pop up and what appears to be um, its nest with uh, uh, at least one baby in there, ma maybe one, more. I know sometimes eagles do push the other babies out, but um, yeah, sounds like there's just one calling and we saw them pop up. Tonight's dinner is something that um, I learned as a scout, and we used to call it a pressure pack. I'm sure there's other. Come to the to light and show. It's shrimp. There's um, uh, mushrooms. There's um, green peppers. Um, marrow. Marrow and a little bit of just some olive oil and that because you do want a bit of butter a bit of liquid in here just because it's going to steam up so um so first i'm doing it in a very long time so yeah, this so is our tester so, so we're experimenting yeah and okay, we just so, we had to use up the shrimp so. so one problem especially when you've got a big package like this instead of just a little serving is it can sometimes start breaking through not from the heat or anything it's just you manhandling it um, so Lee's done about three layers mm -hmm. of just regular tin foil, 
and with these it's not on the grill you just throw them straight in the coals so we're so we'll go, test that out i don't think go. we have to man have them much though once um, they're on yeah exactly no you, you don't you, i mean you can flip them if you want to but you don't really need to because it's basically steaming everything so there we go one there one there and, and come you back wait. come back and for the results i would say 30 minutes yeah we'll especially because it's shrimp we'll probably wait a solid 45 minutes and bob's your uncle and uh you'll see us opening them up later So that was 30 minutes in the fire. Let's see what we've got. Three. Oh, ho, ho. Yum. If this could be smell a vision. Mm, mm, mm. All right. It, it worked so well. We scrapped the plates. There goes Danny Badger. Yeah, there's one. He, he must have, he also smelt the, <laughs> the dinner. But we scrapped the plates through the ration, and there's a dish free meal. Tell me how it tastes. Taste test. Oh. Quality control. Mm. So we are getting ready to hit the sack. Uh, we are practically packed up. The car is half full. A um, few more things to put in there early in the morning. But that's that. Um, we're going to have one more attempt. You can see the GoPro mounted over there. At uh, trying to capture our badger friends. Um, raid the deck tonight. Or whatever other creatures come on tonight. Um, <sighs> Battery's only got about 30% left, but let's see what we can get, and uh, that's a wrap. See you guys in the morning. Our three nights stay at Amboiti Tent to Camp was incredible and we highly recommend adding it to your list of accommodation if you are planning your own Kruger trip. Catch us in the next vlog which was one of our favourite days during this trip. We say farewell to Tamboiti and make our way down to Skakuza for our first night of camping. To avoid missing the next vlog, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notifications bell. See you in the next one.